Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install plugins on your Minecraft server. Now I am assuming you've already got a spigot, bucket, or paper Minecraft server. Paper is the best and we are linking that in the description down below. Down there you can find your in-depth tutorial for paper. It's everything you need to do for 1.16.2. Get your paper server set up and then once you've got that set up, you can come back here and easily install plugins. We're going to show you how to find plugins, we're going to show you some of the best plugins, and then we're going to show you how to install three separate plugins and then test them in game all in this video but again I am assuming you've got a spigot bucket or paper server set up our paper server tutorial is in the description down below so go down there check that out and then after you've done that you can come back to this video and you'll be able to get plugins very very easily but you know if you want to start a paper server the easiest way to do it is actually with apex minecraft hosting who just happens to be the sponsor of this video go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex you get an incredible minecraft server running paper spigot or bucket it doesn't matter either of those will work but you can get them all quickly and easily at apex minecraft hosting in just a few clicks you can have paper up and running on a minecraft server that you can quickly and easily add any plugin that you want to via their website it's super super easy they've also got 24 hours seven day a week support to help you out and help you basically get things fixed if you have any issues with it whether it's with plugins whether it's with you know just opting yourself on a server they can help you out with anything you need apex minecraft hosting is absolutely incredible we actually love them so much that we have our own server played our breakdowncraft.com on them which is running paper Paper and plugins like these that we're about to install, by the way. But nevertheless, if you want to check out Apex, you can check them out the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Stop stressing about hosting your server. Let Apex worry about it for you. Check out Apex again, first link down below. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get plugins. So in order to get plugins, you need to download them. And at the second link down below, you will find this. This is our list of 10 plugins for bucket and spigot servers, right? I need to add paper to this. It should be paper, bucket, and spigot servers or paper, spigot, server. I don't know. Anyway, nevertheless, this is going to work on bucket, spigot, and paper servers, all 10 of these plugins. I've also got videos up here. This will change to 1.16.2 very, very soon, but that usually has different plugins from the list down here even. So make sure you watch the video and go through this list for all of our plugins that we, you know, kind of recommend here. But in this video, we're going to be installing Essentials. So I'm going to go ahead and right click here, click on Open in a new tab. We're going to be installing World Edit. So right click on that link and open that in a new tab up here at the top. And then we're going to install Shop GUI Plus as well, because why not? So nevertheless, let's start with Shop GUI Plus. This is a paid plugin. We've already bought it, so I'm going to be able to use it here without any issues. But if you don't, you might have to purchase this plugin. It's very, very well worth it. But nevertheless, once you're here, click on that blue Download Now button. It's going to take us off. And after a few seconds, it will download in the bottom left. Now, the thing is about pretty much all of these, you will need to keep them or save them. So in the bottom left on Chrome, we can keep them. Almost of Firefox, you can save them in the center of your screen. Essentials X, this is gonna be the same thing. We wanna download right here, just click this download now button, and it's gonna download in the bottom left. Now that's a zip file, so you don't necessarily need to save it or keep it, but you may need to, and if you do, it is 100% safe to do that. Last but not least is World Edit. Now we don't wanna click download latest file in World Edit. What we wanna do is click on file here, and then we wanna make sure we're getting this version right here, the 1.13.2 to 1.16.2 version. Once you've confirmed that's the version you're getting, scroll over and click on that gray download button. Then the download will begin right like so. We can keep it in the bottom left or save it in the center of our screen. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have Shop GUI Plus, the Essentials, Plugins, plural, that we downloaded, and the World Edit file. Now, if your you know, file you downloaded is a jar file, it's ready to go. It's ready to add to your server. However, if it isn't a jar file, in the case of Essentials, then you're going to need to do something to it. But if these are on your desktop like this, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, the little windows icon to the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, and type in downloads, right like so. Click on downloads file folder, and then drag and drop anything from here to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, for Essentials, we need to open it. So go ahead and double click on that zip file. And in here, you will find all the different Essentials plugins and modules. No matter what, you need Essentials X. But for this, we're also going to install Essentials Chat, Essentials Spawn, and that's it. That'll work. So Essentials X, Essentials Chat, and Essentials Spawn all need to be dragged to the desktop. We can now delete this file we downloaded from Essentials. So today, we're actually going to be installing more than three different plugins. We're going to be installing five different plugins here, all of which are different things. As you can see, we've got Essentials, 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 and World Edit and Shop GUI Plus. Now, how do you install these on your server? Well, open up your main server directory. This is where your jar file and ULA.txt file is going to be. And then once you're in here, you should have a plugins folder. Guess what? If you don't have a plugins folder, you don't have a spigot, bucket, or paper server. You need to go start one to add plugins. Nevertheless, once you've got your plugins folder here, double click on it, and now drag and drop any plugins you want to install into this folder. So Shop GUI Plus, 
Essentials X, Essentials X Chat, Essentials X Spawn, and World Edit can all be dragged and dropped into this plugins folder. To start a server and get them officially installed, go ahead and double click on run.bat, start your server, whether you're on Apex, start the server up, whatever you need to do. And once the server is start up, we will be able to join on into it. But you'll also see folders up here in here. You'll see an Essentials X folder, you'll see a Shop GUI Plus folder, and you'll see a World Edit folder. This is where you can find the configuration files for your plugins. Everyone always talks about configuring their plugins and making things look custom via Essentials and configuring stuff. That's how you can do that, right? You can do that in here. For example, if you wanted to make a custom shop for your server, you could do that using Shop GUI Plus and changing and configuring the plugin folders and files that are in here whenever it is generated. So nevertheless, we're just waiting on over here for some stuff to happen. As you can see, World Edit has now loaded up over here, and then we'll see Shop GUI Plus and other things appear, basically. Anyway, it's going to take it a second, and then we will see these folders start appearing. Now, as you can see, it's preparing the spawn world, and we will be finished up pretty soon here. There we go. We now have Shop GUI Plus and Essentials that have appeared. Sorry for that little jump cut. We do seem to have, uh, yes, so Shop GUI Plus doesn't have Vault. Vault is a requirement. That is my bad. That is a fail. You do need the Vault plugin, which can be found right here. So we do need this plugin real quick. Forgot about that. My bad. For both Essentials and Shop GUI Plus to work, it is worth installing it. So we're going to go ahead and restart the server. I will do this over a quick jump cut because, um, well, why not? Yeah. Anyway, that was a fail. Sorry, everyone. Forgot we needed that compatibility plugin. I will see you after a quick jump cut. There we go. This time we've loaded up with no errors. And as you can see, Shop GUI Plus has loaded all of those shops there. If we come over here, we do have the Vault folder now because we added another plugin. But in World Edit, you can find the config file there. You can find the Vault uh, config file there, even though you'll probably never need to change that. And then Shop GUI Plus has all the shops here. These are all the default shops. You can change these, delete them, move them around, anything you want to do. And then you do have the config file for Shop GUI Plus. Well, some of that will be configured as well, like locations of them in the main shop menu. And then last but not least, you have Essentials, which is a ton of stuff in here, and actually more stuff will appear as you do different things in-game, like the message of the day will appear here after you've joined in-game and stuff like that. Instead of loading everything right at once, it loads it as it's needed with Essentials. So, awesome stuff there. Let's go ahead and check these out in-game. To doing that, I'm just going to jump over here into Minecraft Multiplayer, click on Direct Connect, and join this local server. It's a local hosted server, so very, very easy, just a local IP address to join right like so, and wait for it, loading terrain, and then once we're in-game, we're going to see... That if we do slash plugins, because we're off, we can do this. We can do slash plugins and see Vault, Shop GUI Plus, World Edit, Essentials, Essential Spawn, and Essentials Chat. Basically showing, hey, everything is working. We are good to go. We have all of those. If they're green, they are all working. If they're yellow, I think that means they are detected, but with errors, like working with errors. And then red means they're not working at all. Basically, they're detected, but there's something about the plugin broken that's not allowing it not to start up properly. So nevertheless, if you want to check these out, we can do slash GMC now, slash GMS, slash fly. These are all Essentials commands slash spawn is an essentials command slash warp set test or sorry slash set warp test we can do that we can also do eco commands these are all essentials eco give nicking let's do like that much money sure then we can do slash shop and buy some stuff using that new money we just give ourselves like ores go into lapis lazuli and purchase 24 of those let's say we want to get some emeralds as well we want to buy oops sorry not sell emeralds my bad we want to buy more emeralds here we can buy nine stacks or sorry diamonds buy nine stacks of diamonds to sell them we can let or right click to sell them and then let's say we want to sell more right so we'll sell three stacks back right like so and as you can see we uh, paid seventy two thousand and sold them for twenty four hundred um, we lost a decent amount of money on that, but nevertheless, that is okay. That is Shop GUI Plus. And then, of course, there is World Edit. If you are opt, you can do a slash slash or wand and get yourself a World Edit wand and do some crazy stuff like, um, I don't know, set all of the air around these trees. Slash slash replace. Let's see, air, diamond, block. Boom. <laughs> What's cool is since we replaced, that tree is still in there. <laughs> it's just now surrounded by diamonds. But nevertheless, there you all have it. That is how you can install plugins in Minecraft. That is a complete guide going over really everything um, from where to find the plugins to how to install them to even, you know, kind of how to test them there. So we're testing them in game slash plugins is a big help to check at first. If it's not listed here at all, by the way, it's not even recognizing it as a Minecraft plugin. And then last but not least, that is how you can find your configuration files as well. As you can see, M MOTD, message of the day, is now there. And if in game we do slash MOTD, it will pull up. We also leave the server and then rejoin it via direct connection 
it will pop up in chat. There it is, the message of the day. So awesome stuff there. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your new Minecraft server. Enjoy your new Minecraft plugins. It is an amazing time having a Minecraft server, and truthfully, we love it with our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com. If you are looking for a great Minecraft server with green protected survival, custom factions, custom skyblock, and so much more, come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.